Another side bursting with potential was Queen's Park Rangers, boasting a host of internationals, including the precocious talent of Stan Bowles. Well, I think I'm very skillful, probably one of the most skillful in the country, I think so. And I'm told so, so I leave it at that. <laughs> and the New England captain, Jerry Francis. It's there! He loves that! I think that uh, we've always been capable of beating anybody. I think if we can get the consistency into our game, and I, I can't see why there's no reason why we shouldn't be up in the top three. The season kicked off with Liverpool meeting the young Rangers. Oh, that was well played by Bowles to Francis and Gibbons. Back to Francis, it's a good chance here. Oh, superbly taken by Jerry Francis. Queen's Park Rangers won, Liverpool nil. Still on for the cross, here's Francis. Leach! Oh, superbly headed in by Mick Leach. He always has had the knack of coming from deep positions, and the substitute makes it 2-0. By the end of September, QPR were top, West Ham second and Man United third as Rangers, playing in red and white, met Leeds at Elland Road. Played for Clement. Francis had plenty of room, and is it a penalty? Yes! Brought down by Maidley. So, Stan Bowles against David Harvey. makes it look easy. Oh, it's Clark! And poor Frank McClintock knows better than anybody what a bad mistake that was. Yorath again. Clark's flick just hit Webb. Here's Lorimer! special no better striker or volleyer of the ball in football than hot shot Lorimer back in the league QPR were lurking in the leading pack as they met Stoke at Loftus Road Leach by Pajic for Robertson. That's a good cross, Moores is there, and that's in! Tremendous start to the second half for Stoke, with Rangers barely getting a touch. Glore waiting, and outside him there's Moores. They're both coming in now, Parks out, and not making it, Glore! The second time that Alan Glore has crashed in on an error by Phil Parks. in the middle and Hollins and Clement at the far post there's Clement he's got it this is Bowles Hasselbrook goes hurtling in taking Bowles with him Young supporter decided to get on with things and place the ball for the free kick. And it could be the last chance to win it. Webb! Webb! Yes! Yes, he's got it! What a finish! David Webb! While QPR were playing to their full potential, Stan Bowles was certainly living up to his reputation, as Captain Jerry Francis recalls. And we were um, sitting down eating our lunch at the table. And there was a knock at the door, and his wife at the time was gone to uh, answer the door, and it was the bailiffs. And they'd come in and they'd taken the table where we were eating on, the chairs we were sitting on, and the television we were watching. So after they'd left the door and the door was open, you look round, there was our plates of food still on the carpet floor. So that was life with Stan, really. 
But since Christmas, it was QPR who had hit a rich vein of form, with five consecutive wins, thanks to the scintillating partnership of Bowles and Francis. Me and Jerry hit it off straight together. I mean, Terry Venable said at the time, he said, uh, we only played in uh, one five a side together. We never met each other and we just hit it off straight away. I love playing with Jerry, he loved playing with me. We had such an understanding at club level, like telepathic. I could play things blind and he could do the same and uh, really, really enjoyed playing together. Surprise league leaders QPR were top with just three games to play as they met Norwich on the penultimate Saturday. Three Queen's Park Rangers for the one ball. Back to goal. It's there. Jerry Francis and Martin Peters together, and that's uh, Webb's kick. One by Falls. Now Bowles. Thomas going in deep. Brilliant goal by Thomas. Superb. Settling for safety. Oh, what a shot by Morris! Phil Parks absolutely bewildered as Morris celebrates. Jones. It was a sad way uh, to sit in a TV room and watch 90 minutes football and see your whole season sort of go up in flames, really. Um, very disappointing. I said, I'm going to get drunk, Jerry. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. He pissed off. QPR had come from nowhere to suddenly, whoops, the second top here, the challenging for the league title. And, you know, it gets into players' minds, you know. Are we capable of winning the league? The league title, it's somewhere else, you know. Whew, I mean, if we if we win it, whew, whew, and then it gets into your mind. And we knew that if we just hung in, that we'd eventually win it. After months of planning, travelling and watching dozens of football matches, England's new manager, Don Reavy, finally walked out onto the pitch at Wembley to watch his squad play soccer. First impressions were important to Reavy, who tried his best to win over his New England squad. Unfortunately, his efforts had quite the opposite effect. He came out and he said, listen, lads, he said, I've managed to get uh, your appearance money raised from 100 quid to 300 quid. Now, if you were pick for England, you'd pay 3 million quid to play for your country. And he said, I've got you 300 quid, lads. And I've looked at Bolly. Bolly's looked at me and we've gone, I don't believe what he's just said. And I think he was virtually money ruled. I, I could uh, be very arrogant when I, when I felt in the mood, without a doubt. That's why I, never, I, 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 I always say that I didn't get on with the England squad and that's why I didn't get so many caps. Mm. They didn't really want to talk to me. It didn't bother me, but there, there you go. I think that's one of my greatest regrets, really, uh, Jeff. to be honest, that um, we had a rapport that we could play to each other blind. Absolutely, from yeah, day one, did, yeah. from day one came in. I don't know what it is, probably never happened to me again. No. But it's just something that, that never we could do, again. let the ball go and, <laughs> you know, anything like that. And we never played for England together. We played similar times. Yeah. I mean, I was a captain, but he never played with me for the England team. And I, I really regret that because certainly it would have brought out my game. And, I, you know, I think I would have helped him <clears> as well because we knew each other's game so well. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier for me. Because they didn't really want to talk to me because where I've been taking the mickey on, you know, in... What would be the Premiership now? They didn't, you know, well, they didn't talk to me at all. Emily News and all that lot. And uh, when Don Revy was the manager, he got he tried to get the money put up. And Emily News got up and made himself uh, no staff there. He said we should we should play for the um, Free Lions. So jokingly, I shouted out. I said, Well, I'll have yours. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody spoke to me for three days. <laughs> it's lovely. And I, I didn't get picked the next game. 